You know, we're not even 24 hours into Punk's return to WWE. And already you have people showing how tribalistic this wrestling community is. I mean, I'm, I'm on Fightful Select's Patreon page. I support them. $5 a month is definitely worth the, what you get from them. There's no doubt. It's definitely worth what you get from them. But, you know, they were reporting more information on the Punk situation, his return to WWE. And in the comment section, you have all these people, you know, just, just showing the, I guess you could say the true allegiances, if you will, or the true colors. Because you have some, pre, some person saying, oh, I hope to hear the next report on his fight or injury. Why would you, why would you wish injury once again on Punk? I, I don't get it. Why would you do that? And then, if that's not enough, if that's not enough, <laughs> you know, you have people coming out and saying, oh, I can't wait to see Tyler, Tyler and Rebecca Black, that's Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch, I can't wait to see them in AEW. And then you have somebody replying that, yeah, I could probably see Rollins, you know, putting over Punk at WrestleMania and then going to AEW. It's like, are you, it's like, where's your mind at? Where's your mind at, huh? And then, oh, and then you have, this is, this is what really got me laughing too. You have somebody coming out and saying, yep, we got, now we know what our all-in main event's going to be in 2024 at Wembley Stadium. We know what our all-in main event's going to be. It's going to be Will Ospreay versus Drew Galloway, a.k.a. Drew McIntyre. And it's like, I, are you serious? Are you seriously, you know, thinking that? All because of the reports you're hearing? Do you not under do you not pay attention to what they're saying? I mean, in this initial report, you know, talking about Drew acting the way he did after the after the match when the show went off the air, you know, after Punk's return, Drew, Drew, the way he went to the went back to the locker room, he was selling selling his injury or injuries that he had sustained, you know, you know he that he had sustained, you know, you know in the in the war game. He was selling his injuries. He was being professional about them. But when he got to the back, yeah, I can believe he was angry. I can believe that he had anger. But apparently, it's not, it doesn't just have to do with the CM Punk situation. It's more than that. Whatever it is, we don't know. I'm assuming he thought maybe the Judgment Day was going to go over. But at the last second, they said, no, we're going to have Cody go over. You know, or Cody's team go over. So we can only, we can only... We can only assume and factor in that maybe it was change of plans and it, and it just didn't sit right with him. I don't know. Maybe it's something personal. We don't know. We don't know. But it, but it has, but what Drew did, the way he reacted, has more to do with something else than CM Punk. But yet people want to use that by saying, oh, he's TK's new best friend. Or, yeah, we got a, we all, we got a main event for all in. We'll all spray Drew Calloway. And it's like, ugh. It's like, seriously? Seriously? You, you, you guys want to believe that? You guys want to say that? You want to feel that? You know, you have people say, oh, I'm not going to watch WWE anymore. I'm not a fan of your book. It's like, you know, I read all this. I read all this. I see these reactions. And you know what I say? I say this. If you are AEW through and through, pro AEW through and through, just freaking say it. Just come out and say, well, if you're not all elite and not part of AEW, I'm not a fan of yours. Why don't you just say that? Just say it. Just draw a line in the sand and say, hey, you stand over here with us, you AEW all elite. Yeah, we love all the wrestlers, men and women that come here. But, but if you stand over here on the WWE side or you decide to jump over, you're not a friend of ours. You're not a real fan. And we don't like you guys, and you men and women that go over there. It's like, why don't you just say that? Why don't you just freaking say that? Grow up, grow a set, and say it. Stop, stop giving people the run around and saying, oh, well, I don't like, you know, the fact that Punk went back because it shows he's a hypocrite. And da, 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 da. When are you going to realize at the end of the day, business is business. Business is business. Okay? 
Yeah, not a lot of men and women in WWE are going to be happy that CM Punk Phil Brooks is back, okay? Nobody. You know, nobody's going to deny that, okay? Nobody's going to deny that. You know, but the same could be said when he was in AEW. And some of the people he worked with there, do you think they liked him? No. But they were professional enough to do business. Moxley was professional enough to do business. Hangman Adam Page, despite their differences, was professional enough to do business. You know, and I'm pretty sure there's others, like MJF, professional enough to do business. Darby Allen, professional enough to do business, despite how they might feel about the guy. Don't you get what I'm saying? Just because Seth Rollins may not like him doesn't mean he's not going to do business with him. Just because Drew McIntyre may not care about him it doesn't mean he won't do business with him. You know, it's like, you, don't, you guys need to understand... Wrestling is a business just like any other. It is a business at the end of the day, and what talks at the end of the day is the money. What you're being offered, you know, money-wise, and what they're offering you in return. That's what it is. You, and, and you know what, I, when, I, when I look at this, I say to myself, what we're dealing with here is a bunch of teenagers, a bunch of adolescents, as I just checked my time there. We are dealing with a bunch of teenagers, a bunch of young kids, a bunch of adolescents that don't know diddly crap one iota about the wrestling business or have not been fans for that long. You guys need to grow up. You need to grow up, you know, and just accept the fact that, hey, things don't always go the way you want, all right? Things will not go always go the way you want, okay? You know, I've dealt with that my whole life. Things don't always go the way I want, but I don't cry and whine about it. No. I just move on. I might say something here and there, but that's it. You know, you folks need to grow up. You need to grow up, you know, and accept the fact that things don't always go the way you want. Now, yes, does CM Punk take part of the blame of what happened behind the scenes, you know, in AEW with the Elite, with, with uh, you know, with Hangman? With Jack Perry and all that, does he take p part of that responsibility? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, he does. And that's going to follow him for the rest of his career. He's going to get asked questions about that every time he does an, an interview to help promote WWE or promote himself. He's always going to get qu asked that question. There's no doubt about it. So yeah, he takes responsibility. So yeah, he takes fault in what happened. There's no doubt. But you know who also takes fault? The elite takes fault. Hangman Page takes fault, Jack Perry takes fault, and most of all, Tony Khan, the guy that runs the damn company, takes fault for not putting his fandom aside and being somebody that, as soon as CM Punk returns, is sitting in Gorilla going, CM Punk, CM Punk. No. He, no, instead, what he should have done was be a leader and say, hey, Punk's here, and if you don't like it, there's the door. That's what he should have done. But he didn't do that, because he's nothing more than a fanboy who doesn't have enough sense to be like, you know what, I'm handing over the running of res my wrestling operations to this person so I can focus on other stuff because at the end of the day, I'm just a fan and I don't want that interfering, you know, with the success of my company. That's what he should have done, but he didn't do it. So him, along with the elite and everybody else I've mentioned, do take fault along with Punk. But at the end of the day, folks, what you need to do is grow up and realize this is a business and stop this damn tribalism. And that's all I'm going to say on that.